Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are interested in seeing how I came up with this beautiful, rosy, mauve, soft, easy, simple, everyday eyeshadow look, then just keep on watching. But first, if you have not done so already, become a part of my family here on my YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. So, like I said, if you want to see this eyeshadow look, then just keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be creating an eyeshadow look using the ColourPop's Cabana Club eyeshadow palette. So let's get started. I've already primed my eyes. I just want to make sure they are smooth and ready. So I'm going to take this um, Morphe 433 brush and I am going to take the... Um, Deepest chocolate shade. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do it. And we are going to pack it right there on that lower lash line area. Stamping up into the outer V. Close to the crease but not directly in the crease area just yet. I'm going to stamp a little bit more. Let me zoom you guys in a bit. Okay, good. And again, we're going to just stamp it right on that lash line, but not up in the crease. Stamp a little bit more. Stamp it. And I like to do this before I blend, especially when you're working with shades that are this bold. Okay, so we're going to continue to pack it. So now we're going to clean off the brush with our makeup round to get some of that shadow off so we can blend it. So now we're going to blend in circular motion and blend up towards the crease area to diffuse some of this shadow. Let's see if I put the other eye. I'm going to just keep blending. I'm liking how that's blending. I'm applying a little bit more of that shade right in the outer V area and going up slightly in the crease, but not above the crease. Okay, and a little bit more on the other eye and doing the same thing. I like that. It's pretty. I'm just making sure they're both blended almost the same with the amount of product and a little bit more. It's a nice shade too and it's blending really really good. So now we're just diffusing it right in that crease area just a little bit. Look how this coming together though, it's blending pretty good. I'm 
I like that. So now we're gonna go in with um let's see my watch. Okay. This um BH number 12, this large fluffy brush. And I want to go in with let's do the first matte shade on the last row. I'm gonna get a little bit on the tip of the brush. Now let's see if we can place this directly in the crease area above the deeper shade that we just placed. And I'm not going up any higher than where I'm placing it. I'll take a little bit more and just lightly placing it directly in the crease area right there in that crease area where the brow bone not the brow bone where this bone here sits and I'm lightly placing it on the other eye and blending you want to lightly deal this shade I don't want it too, too, too deep. Not today. Like a wash of color. And I'm lightly building it as I blend. Okay, go back to And I'm also lifting my eye up um, so I can place the shadow directly into the crease with the tip of this brush and lightly blend it. And a little bit more. And blend. Just make sure you blend those two shades together. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with the 433. Add a little bit more of that deeper brown shade. Back into the outer V going up in the crease area a little bit. Because I feel like I lost a little bit of that shade blending and adding that crease shade. I have a heartburn this morning. Reflux. Okay, so. That's actually on the decent side. So now I'm going to take this um, Morphe M332 brush, this fluffy brush, and just um, blend the crease area. And I'm blending upwards towards the brow bone so I can diffuse it a little bit more away from the... Um, area. I like how light that is though. So now we're going to um, clean off the VH number 12 brush and I want to go in with the second matte shade in the palette and I want to place this right under the brow bone area to deepen it up a little bit because of the lid shade it's looking pretty good and add it all the way across the whole area above the right under the brow bone
That's a nice shade for that with what I'm coming up with. And I'm just making sure the shade is just lightly packed and setting the uh, base. And I'm lightly, lightly placing the shadow in that area. So now I'm going to lightly blend so it's smooth. And just make sure everything is blended. I'm liking it so far. So now we're going to go in with our glitter glue. I'm going to put it on my ring finger and blend it together and place it on the lid, the center and the inner corner. We're not going to place it on the um, outer V. And it's a good bit tacky. Okay, so now we are going to go in with, I want to do the shade. <laughs> let's do the, you know, I've been doing a lot of shimmer shades, so let's not do that. Let's do the third matte shade, and it's like this um, rosy, mauvey pink shade. And let's pop that on the glitter glue area. and place it right in that crease area like you're doing your um, shimmers if you was applying your shimmers and I like this method too with the glitter glue with the mattes um, so it gives it a little more pop and stands out on the lid area what well, I normally would place the shimmers just pack a little bit more. Make sure it's packed really good. Because these matte shades will crease up. And I don't want that. Okay. I'm going to go right there in that area and back around. Okay, so now we're going to take the... Um, Sigma E36 and it's just this fluffy, small fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to blend the crease area. Make sure these shades are blended together without any harshness. I'm liking that. Yes, pretty. So now I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 433 with the deeper shade we started with and just flick it back in the outer V. Just pack it a little bit. Before we blend. So now I'm going to take my round and blend. This is actually so pretty. So I like it. Now we're going to go back in with the Morphe. Not Morphe. <laughs> BH brush. With the um, shade we used as a transition. And just pop it right back in this area. And we are about to 
finish this look and clean up my makeup round and blend. And the same thing for this eye. And this palette had little to no fallout. So I am liking how this eye look has come together. So this is the eye look. I like it. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to jump off camera, finish the rest of my face, and I will be back to show you guys my final look. See you guys in a bit. So welcome back. This is the final look. Um, to finish the look for my foundation, I mixed uh, some of my Black Radiance in the shade, uh, I think it's Caramel, I believe, Cream Brulee. And then I mixed a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Pro in the shade something beige. I don't know. Something beige. But I mixed these two foundations today. And I love how it performed. And the um, color that it brought together for my skin tone. So for my blush today, I used the Juvia's Place um, Bella Blush. And I applied just a little bit of it. Not too, too much. Because I want it to be really, really soft. And for my highlighter, I used my Makeup Geek in Midnight Sun, which is this nice, nice highlighter, and then I also, you know what? Let me let me back up. I use this Makeup Geek highlighter in my inner corner of my eyes, and then I use my Essence Pure Nude highlighter on my um, cheekbones and be my highlight. This shade here, and then to bronze today, I bronze with my Lys bronzer in the shade courage <laughs> courage i wear bifocals, focus by the way i can't see a thing without my glasses um for my lips i lined them with my juvia's place lip liner in the shade luxy liner is that right love me the luxy liner and for my gloss i've gone back to my autumn fave this um glimmer lip gloss that I bought from H&M you know a while back that completes the look um, if you have this palette let me know your thoughts on it um, I love the way it performed this morning I really really do love the way it performed this morning I got the look that I was looking forward to match my attire which I try to do all the time um, but I do do like it I like it I want to use the more um, bolder colors in here soon but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.